Hi there, my name is Ken Brett. I'm the Eastern Canadian Sales Manager of Alpine. We're at our demonstration site at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show. I want to talk a little bit about a couple of our soybean products. We've launched uh, two years ago what we call our KTEC line of potassium technology. It's new, a new form of potassium in the Ontario market. At this point in time we have it in two soybean products. Our first one is a, a seed place starter we're calling Alpine HKW6. It's a clear white product. The difference with this KTEC technology, the uh, potassium source is potassium acetate. In the soil version of it, the acetate helps feed the mycorrhizae in the soil. They benefit the plant and we're seeing an enhanced root system. These weren't dug with a shovel or anything. It, it's getting late in the season. We don't quite see the benefit of the bigger roots, but they are bigger. Uh, we, we dug these earlier in the season and we were seeing an enhanced root structure, which only leads to higher yields. The, the roots are able to forage from more of that soil area. The complementary product to our Alpine HKW6 is Alpine K20S. It's targeted at the foliar market when you're going over the field with crop protection products to give the crop a boost of both potassium and sulfur. It's a 3020S. Most of that potassium comes again from potassium acetate like our Alpine HKW6. 8% sulfur is also a huge benefit in today's farming as we're getting less sulfur dispositions from the air. Uh, it's, its value in crops is becoming more uh, apparent every year here. Typically when we spray a, a foliar on soybeans we target the early flowering stage when they're entering reproduction, uh, high, high nutrient demands. Usually what we see is it hangs on to a few more pods at each node. Um, sometimes as well the potassium products will shorten your inner nodes a little bit. Uh, less energy spent growing vegetative stock and putting more into the pods. Alpine K20S is compatible with most crop protection products. Uh, we don't expect growers we know growers rarely will spray a nutrient on its own. They're, they're piggybacking it either with an insecticide or a fungicide. A near neutral pH on Alpine K20S enables it to be a very good tank mixer partner for all of those products and we've yet to see any tank mix issues. Although we have targeted Alpine K20S, predominantly the soybean market, we've had some great results on alfalfa with it. Uh, each of the last two years we've done some test plots and we're still getting all the data. There's still third cut happening, but it looks encouraging both on a yield and a field value perspective. Growers have also sprayed it on corn and, and cereal crops to, to boost additional potash. Dry years like this past summer, potash is very hard to get out of the ground by the roots and, and this is probably the best foliar option there is to address those needs and keep the crop going through that stressful period. If you want more information, our website www.alpinepfl.com can link you through to any of our seven DSMs in Ontario. They're a well-trained, experienced sales staff. Uh, most of them have their CCA credentials, so they're, they'd be more than happy to get out to your farm and, and help you develop some programs for your crops. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.